Hello. Today you're here with a picky eater and I am going to be ranking foods from the S tier to the F tier. The S tier being God tier, oh my god, the best food ever, and then F being absolute shit. Let's get into it! First one was we have eggs. I like eggs when they're in other things. And if we didn't have eggs, we wouldn't have like any baked goods or anything like that. But I don't like eggs by themselves because they taste weird, they have a strange texture, they make my mouth feel weird. I don't really like so I don't really like eggs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them like a B. Next I have cake. Now, everybody likes cake for some reason, and I'm always like, why? Because I don't like cake. Whenever I eat cake, it gives me a really weird feeling on my mouth again. I get a weird texture. I don't like cake at all. My rating for cake, E. Cause it's not, it's not like the worst food, but it, I don't like it, so E. Tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes either. Wow, I really am being picky. <laughs> but tomatoes make ketchup, which I kind of like, and tomato sauce, which I do like. So without tomatoes, again, we wouldn't have all these things. It's weird because I don't like the, the thing that makes the things I like. Let's give them a C because if you ever eat a tomato, like, it, it's weird and juicy and seedy and I don't like it. It's nasty. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, coffee. Everybody like drinks coffee. I don't like coffee. No, it's bitter. It 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 doesn't smell good. I know it's to like wake you up and make you feel alive. Coffee's enough. Coffee's enough. I never drink it. I never have it. I've never drank it. I never will drink it. No. So pickles, a D. I don't like pickles that much, but I do like beets. If you've ever had pickled beets, those are super good. That's an A on my scale. That's good. Next I have fruit, and I love fruit. Fruit is S tier. I like oranges, I like apples, strawberries, melons, I like all the fruits. They're all so good. Fish? Fish is A tier. I think fish is A tier. Okay, cheese? I fuck with cheese. I, I fuck with dairy products in general. Cheese is definitely A. Yogurt is definitely A. But milk? Milk is S tier. I drink milk every single day. If you don't like milk, do you know what you're missing? You're missing out on all this calcium and all these yummy foods. It's, it's just so versatile. It's just so versatile and good. Bread. Bread seems like such a food that's just like, yeah, bread. But I eat bread every day. Every single day. Bread literally goes with everything. And there's so many types of breads. Like, there's so much bread in the world. Bread is S tier, too. Cookies. I like cookies. That's like an A. It's a, That's a good food. I like sandwich cookies, but when I eat them, I do a weird thing. And most people would be like, they twist, they like whatever. No, not for me. I literally just take the Oreo and I eat it. Like, I guess I'm, I'm so impatient, I can't even like twist and like, I just have to eat and go. So, call me a psychopath, but that's how I eat my Oreos, and it's gonna stay that way because it's faster. We have reached the food of the hour, nuts. Now, do I have a story to tell you about nuts? Especially peanut butter, okay? So, about a year ago, I was like throwing up every single morning for a really long time and I had no idea why. It, it, it baffled me, I was like, what is happening? And I was nauseous like all the time. And it just started out of the blue for absolutely no reason. So we went to the doctor. been uh, throwing up at, like almost every single morning for the past couple months and I'm I don't know why huh. okay. do you have any food allergies that you know about no how about any new medications mm -mm. Hmm. well morning sickness is a symptom of pregnancy and no, it's not that. You're sure? I'm 100% sure. It was, a, it was a mess. Anyway, they couldn't figure out what it was. Well, 
We can get you for an x-ray of the stomach, see if there's anything in there bothering you. Um, we can also prescribe you with an acid pills or anti-nausea pills, and we'll just see if those help. I took them, and those didn't work. They actually made me feel worse. The funny thing is, they gave me all these tests, they made me take all these pills, and nothing helped, because it turns out it was just fucking peanut butter and nuts that are making this whole problem. Who, who are you talking to? The audience. <laughs> and that is exactly what happened to the T. So, back to, the, back to the thing at hand. Nuts and peanut butter, they are below F tier. The Z tier, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. <sighs> well. And that was Picky Eater ranks all the foods. You might be like, hmm, you hate a lot of foods. And I am a very picky eater. I've been a picky eater since I was a little kid. If they got a weird texture, I don't eat them. If they smell weird, I don't eat them. If they look funny, I don't eat them. And yeah, cowabunga dudes. Mm -hmm.